Good Friday morning, everyone. Meteorologist Stone Shaver here with your January 5th one minute forecast. Highs today, mid to upper 20s through the central, maybe some lower 30s to the far south, southeast, then those mid to upper 30s down to the southwest. Do get some 20s to the northwest. Uh, there is going to be a winter weather advisory uh, to the southeast corner of the state. You're looking from Kidder, Logan, McIntosh County out to the east uh, to really Fargo and Cass and Richland County. And, and those that's coming for maybe a freezing drizzle chance. Don't expect much accumulations, but if you are someone that's traveling to the east from Bismarck to Fargo today, just be weary. Travel could be difficult if that freezing rain does occur uh, through this afternoon. But for us here in the central and western portions of the state, there isn't much through the morning, but by about midday, we'll start to see that snow chance just start to show itself across much of the state. Could be consistent at times. Doesn't look to be very heavy uh, snowfall, but something you're going to see most likely through the afternoon on and off uh, into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, it moves out. And then by the time we hit uh, Sunday, we'll have another snow chance that moves in from the north-northwest late Sunday into Monday morning. This could be consistent as well. Doesn't look to be heavy, but we'll keep an eye on it. There could be some bands that want to form heavy snow. Now, when it comes to accumulations, they're still pretty light. You're looking at a trace to one inch for tonight into tomorrow. And then once we get to Sunday, areas up to the north could get up to that one to three inch mark. More likely going to be about one to one and a half inches. Some localized areas could get up to two. And then down to the south, you're still looking at that trace to one inch mark when it comes to that snow. And then as we get into next week, temperatures do start to drop. We start in the 20s, right around average for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, similar to what we have today. But then we hit Thursday, that cold air gets pulled in. We're looking at single digits you're looking at zero and you're looking at some below zero highs as we get to the end of next week and next weekend